Pressure on me. Five horse party now. Thousand meters. They sprinting away from the one thousand meter marker. Here in after the first to go. I'm the buzzers right there. Divine Moonlight. Red Roses 2's got the blue cap on the outside. Pour some shoe on me. He's about four lengths off the leader. So Red Roses 2 now takes it up. At the rail is here in after. Divine Moonlight's back in third. Then I'm the buzz. And on the outside of that, pour some shoe on me. It's only about four lengths top to tail. Red Roses 2 brings them in. Here in after's on the inside. Divine Moonlight's just waiting. Pour some shoe on me. He's going to come around. Around them. 400 meters to go. Red Roses 2. Divine Moonlight's the danger. Here in after. Behind that pour some sugar on me. Coming out of the 200 now. Divine Moonlight. Here in after. Between runners. Red Roses 2. Divine Moonlight though takes it up. Here in after. Red Roses 2's trying to come back for more. Here in after. Red Roses 2's fighting right back. Red Roses 2 comes back and wins it. Second Divine Moonlight. Third to here in after. And behind that one on the outside pour some sugar on me. Number seven, Red Roses two. Another win for Sean Veal. Gets headed and fights back and ends up winning it and winning it by about a half length. So number seven, okay, they've taken the, it's 560 at this stage. Get all those dividends confirmed. Second, number six, Divine Moonlight. Third number three, year in after. Then number four, pour some sugar on me. So here's Red Roses two. At one stage, as you heard, was 14 to one. The captain of all, Stuart Ferry, Sean Veal, and owned by Jill Dry and Peter De Marini, and fights right back between runners. Divine Moonlight's on the right-hand side, and here in after is the Red Sleeves and Cap. The tote favorite was number four, pour some sugar on me. And the winner, is bred by Peter Marini and Jill Dreyer until the running of race six back to the studio.